Welcome to the Sales Influence Podcast, where we talk about finding the why in how people buy. I'm your host, Victor Antonio. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for lending me your ears. I'm going to talk about one of the biggest, I mean one of the biggest sales sins ever committed and continues to be committed by many salespeople, and that is overselling. Yes, people oversell. Salespeople are continuously overselling a product or a service. Now, we've all been in that situation where we have to present our product or our service to a client, and then we begin the value dump. By value dump, we start talking about, and it can do this, and it can do that, and here's a feature, and here's the benefit, here's another feature, and here's another benefit, and you're building as much value as you can. In your head, the more value you build, the more you can justify and help the customer rationalize the price you're gonna charge them. And so in your mind, you may have this equation that correlates to following. More features and benefits, correlates to a higher price, therefore the customer will probably say yes, more likely than no. But the problem is that when you're giving quantity, you're over basically oversaturating the customer. See, we have to pull back from this type of presentation. One, quantity does not equal quality. We can all agree on that. I think that's an easy one. But also think about your poor customer or the prospect in this case. Your feature benefit dumping on them, value dumping on them, and several things could happen. One is that they get overwhelmed. There's too many features, too many buttons, too many gadgets, too many bells, too many whistles. Uh, Let me think about it. I'll get back to you. I can't make a decision right now. There's so much to think about. Let me get back to you. Let me think about it. We've all been in that situation, right? Or the other thing is the customer is thinking as you're showing all these bells and whistles, they're going, well, I don't think we would use that. I don't think I need that. In fact, I don't think you know I would ever implement something like that. And no matter what price you give them at the end, all they can think about is, well, look, I would never use the majority of these features, so why am I overpaying? This is the problem when you value dump, feature dump on your client. See, if you begin with a proper discovery call, a discovery conversation with the client up front, know exactly what it is they're trying to accomplish. What is it that they want? How do they want to use your product, your service, your software to accomplish what they need to accomplish? And then once you have a clear picture, I mean a clear picture of what they want, you present to that. You demo to that. Ooh, I know this is hard for some of you. Because in your mind, you feel like you just need to spray and pray, right? Show up and throw up. We've all heard the phrases. But the reality is that we have to spoon feed to the customer, to the prospect, what they need at that moment. Yes, we can do some you know, future visioning, right? In other words, we can say, look, future pacing them, here's what you can do down the road, but always bring them back to, for right now, here's what you need to do. Let me give you a perfect example. I know one you'll be able to relate to. Whether you use PowerPoint, Keynote, uh, Word doc, or Sheets if you're a Mac person, imagine me, for example, let's just take Word document, right? Imagine for a moment me basically featuring everything in that software product. If they were to do an analysis on the use of a Word document, you probably use maybe 20, maybe 30%, I think I'm being generous here, of those features. But imagine you're being sold it to the first time. It's being sold to you for the first time. And the salesperson basically demos everything this thing can do. One, you will be overwhelmed. Two, you're like, I'm not gonna use all this stuff. Three, no matter what price you tell me, it's probably gonna be too much unless it's really cheap. The same thing happens with features and products rather in your software. Only demo what they're gonna use. When we use a Word document, all we need to know is how do you open the page? How do you start writing? How do you change the font? Font sizes, how do you track the changes? So forth and so on, the basics. And if we wanna go beyond that, we can then do research. Now here's the powerful thing, that by first showing the customer what they need today in the present, you establish value. Here's all you need. And again, you're almost like spoon feeding them what they need right now. But then you can say something like this. There are other features that you're gonna need in the future. For example, A, B, C, just mentioned a couple. I said, but for right now, let's push those to the side because you will need those. But right now, if you learn how to use A, B, C, D, E, F, 
you'll be maximizing this product for what you want to use. And in the future, as you grow, as you expand, you can use all these other features. That's the way to frame that conversation. So keep in mind, by overdoing it, by giving them too many features, too many benefits, just overdoing it, you oversaturate the brain. The prospect says, I can't, I, it's too much, I can't handle it, or I'm overpaying. Therefore, let me go look for a cheaper solution that has less features. We've all seen that. So again, be very careful how you present. Be very selective. Sometimes we think that doing a long presentation of value dumping is gonna help us justify the price in the end. But at the end of the day, what the client wants to know is how can you or your product or your service help me get to where I want to go? And that's all you need to show. And that is it for the Sales Influence Podcast. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Leave me some feedback on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, Pandora, Spotify, wherever you find us. Also, when you get a moment, if you haven't done so already, check out the Sales Velocity Academy. I've added some great courses for you to help you sell more faster. So check out www.salesvelocityacademy.com. And on that note, this is Victor Antonio, always reminding you, selling ain't hard when you know how. Take care. Hi, I'm Victor Antonio. I'm an author, sales trainer, and keynote speaker. I'm often asked, what makes a great speaker? Is it someone who delivers real content that the audience can use? Is it someone who engages the audience so they're part of the learning experience? Or is it someone who can motivate an audience to push them beyond their comfort zone and discover new abilities? The answer is yes. But the most important thing to remember is that I'm not there to look good. I'm there to make my client look good. Simply put, it's never about me and it's always about them.